Hello everybody and welcome to the first video lecture for music theory. Uh, I'll be posting two videos, two videos, two videos like this a week going over uh, new topics and uh, answering any questions. Um, I might post additional videos if I get multiple questions on the same thing, but I'll be going over the chapters, going over uh, the subject material and the homework and all of that stuff. So. I'll post these to YouTube and then email everybody a link. So make sure to watch um, all of the videos I send you. They will help out a lot and we will continue um, like this. I think it will work out during our regularly scheduled class time. Uh, so you can watch these videos whenever you want. Uh, they'll be on YouTube, I'll send you the links. During our regularly scheduled class time, um, I'll have my computer, I'll have my phone, email me uh, through D2L, uh, text me, call me. If you want to set up a video chat through FaceTime or Skype, um, just text me and say, hey, let's set up a video uh, conference and then uh, we'll get hooked up that way. Um, but yeah, so I'll be available that way and we'll just keep going on our syllabus and do what we can do. Um, this guy might make an appearance in some of the videos. My son, Lewis. Anyway, let's get started. Continuing, see, we're enthusiastic. Continuing with non-chord tones. Here we go. Okay, so today we're gonna to be looking at uh, a lead sheet and finding non-chord tones in that context. Don't forget, uh, look at the chart on page 186 in your textbook to see um, the names of all of the non-chord tones and then how they are approached and how they are left by. So remember, a non-chord tone is any note that is not in the chord. So here, looking at this lead sheet, we have one chord, a lead sheet symbol up here, uh, for each measure. So this measure here is all G. So therefore, any note that's in this measure that's not in the, in the chord of a G, chord, G major chord, which is G, B, D, any notes that are not G, B, or D are then a non-chord tone, which we'll put parentheses around and then classify them based on the chart on page 186. So first note here, B in the chord, no problem. Second note, A, not one of the chord tones. So this is in fact a non-chord tone. So we'll put parentheses. Now we look at our non-chord tone and we look at the note before it and the note after it. And we see stepwise, stepwise in the same direction. Then you look at the chart on page 186 and you say step, step in the same direction and that's a passing tone and label that with a P. Passing tone, we're just passing right through the note. Stepwise in the same direction, passing tone. That one is pretty easy to memorize. Okay, then we just go note by note. G, G's in the chord, A. Another A is not in the chord. Now, this one is not a passing A because we have stepwise, same tone. Okay, so stepwise, same tone. Look at the chart on page 186 and we see the second to last one, step or leap, and then left by same tone is an anticipation tone. So the easiest way to think about this one is it's anticipating the next chord. So A is not in the G chord, but it is in the D chord. So it's anticipating the next chord, it's coming in early, and it is in the next chord of D. So next chord D, D, F sharp, A, list your chord tones. 
and then do it just like you did the previous measure. I'm going to uh, send you this PDF so you can finish it up at home or at least do a couple lines for practice. Okay, so next note, B. Is B one of the chord tones? No, it's not a D of sharp array. So we're gonna put parentheses around it. It's a non-chord tone. Then to classify it, we look at the note before it and the note after it. So note before it, we're stepping, and then the note after it, we're stepping opposite direction. So again, you can check page 186 on that chart. Step and then step in opposite direction is a neighbor tone. We write a little N, calling it a neighbor tone. And just think of that as you're at home at your chord tone, then you're stepping to a non-chord tone that's your neighbor, and then you step back home. Neighbor tone. Okay, A is in the chord, G, not in the chord. Parentheses, and we have a step and then a leap. So even though it's in the same direction, um, it can't be a passing tone because this is a leap. So a step and a leap is an escape tone, and you can look at that on page 186. And then we have another non-chord tone, E. So E is not a D, F sharp, or an A. So we have to classify it. So it's a leap and then same tone. Now we saw one of these over here again, even though it was a step and same tone, it's the same thing. And anticipation is defined as a step or a leap and then same tone. So leap, same tone, anticipation, A, and T. So look look for that. Remember, think of this logically too. It's anticipating the, the next chord. And E is in a C chord. We have C, E, G. It's in the C chord. It's anticipating the next tone. Okay, let's finish up this line. All right, B, not in a C chord. So parentheses, note before, big leap. Step, check your page on 186, what says leap and then step? APP, -P, yeah, you know me, appoggiatura. Okay, so then we go to A, another non-chord tone. We can have two non-chord tones in a row, it happens. Um, but we're still just looking at the note before and the note after it to classify it. So here's our non-chord tone, the note before is a step and then step in the same direction. We know what that is. That's our first one, the easiest one, passing tone. And then G is in the chord. Last measure for this line, uh, back to D chord. Again, let's just think about what the notes are of our chord. D, F sharp, A. So any note in this measure that's not a D, F sharp, or A will be a non-chord tone. If it is a D, F sharp, or A, then we leave it alone. A, leave it alone. B, non-chord tone. Step, step in same direction, passing tone. Okay. C, not a D, F sharp, or A. Step, leap, escape tone. And then E, another non chord tone. Leap, step. That's our APP, Pajatura. We're looking at the note before it and the note after it, which is on the next line. APP. Okay, go through a couple lines of this um, for this week's uh, class on Monday for our practice. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, during class time, uh, 11 to 12, 15, I'll be taking all questions on D2L, text, phone, or we can set up a FaceTime or Skype. Um, hope all is well, and we'll be checking in soon. Okay, that concludes today's uh, video lecture. Let me know if you have any questions and keep up with the syllabus and check D2L often. I'll be posting stuff there all the time. Hope all is well and we'll see you next time.